Hey everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo Franchise Zoo today in a very very special episode because it is in fact the first episode after the news is out. Um, I'm actually a little bit nervous to be honest uh, so I'm recording that a little bit of ahead of time but the day you're watching this video um, there will be the news out already that I am becoming a daddy rather soon so yes I said it for those of you who haven't seen my Twitter Discord or the community post this is it. Um, very soon, uh, if everything goes right to plan, um, I will be daddy. So that is the uh, reason why my content might be changing a little bit in the next couple of weeks. Now, I do need to get that out. Um, I, I wanted to wait a little bit longer um, until it's very much done. But uh, since I'm a little bit behind my schedule due to job and stuff like that, um, I thought it was unfair to not let you know because it might now happen every time that I'm away all of a sudden and no videos are going to be published for a couple of days. Now, that said, I do have something already prepared in the background. It's it's not fully done, but I'm still very confident if the little one just, you know, waits for a tiny little bit longer, um, that it's all going to be uh, well prepared for the time away, uh, because I really want to make a break of at least six weeks, um, in which I will be answering comments and stuff, but I'm not going to actively produce anything. Um, if if there is uh, time for it, I might do it, but I just want to have the freedom to just enjoy the first six weeks. And that said, it's going to be rather soon, um, but please respect that I'm not going to share too many details because as, as always things might happen and I will let you know as soon as everything is going to plan and everything is, is worked out fine then I will let you know. But as of today uh, we're going to build a little bit further into the franchise mode according to your feedback. Also we had a little raffle going on in the last episode. I will note the winners down in the first comment of this video so if you want to know that go down check uh, the names and then you'll be fine. We do have to do something about this to be honest. Um, they seem to be still very much stressed. I have no idea how to do it. Um, I don't know if we can put um, stuff like this down. Um, we, we could try to put down some um, ambient and music stuff. I think music makes them makes them a little bit more happy. Let's try this real quick. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to finally have the news out. It it has been it has been rather tough to be honest uh, to keep quiet about this for so long um, because again it's like almost eight and a half months now uh, that I needed to really keep it a, a secret and there were some moments where I wished I could have said that because that would have been a little bit easier to explain certain things uh, in general about the channel but in general so yeah but this is it. Um, we are now sitting here, the news is out. I hope you guys are happy for me. <laughs> I mean, this is this is the way the life goes. I'm extremely happy, I can't tell you. I'm super excited. I'm really, really looking forward to meeting the new one. So uh, yeah, I, I'm excited. But now let's focus on this build. I'm just going to put down all of these things. I don't, I don't even know if I have enough electricity over here, to be honest. Maybe I'm just plopping them down, but we don't even have power over here. Oh, we do have power. That's interesting. Okay, let's go to Aquatic Marine Dream. The same over here. Marine Dream. Can we actually see how... Uh, wait, there you go. Can we actually see how... Okay, this is Marine Dream. Um, how, how the... Is there any kind of stuff where you can see the coverage of it? Um, negative impact. No water. This, this, this. You can't really see how much of a radius that music has right not really um just hoping that this will make the animals a bit more comfortable underwater feeder uh, this is still like broken we don't need to watch into this this is this is just not a not a big deal um okay so this is this is still all going very well i think we are making still decent money gosh this is just very crammed over here uh we gotta have to make sure that this area is going to be less of a of a stretch in terms of uh crowded areas but what i can also put down i have gotten some new blueprints and the billboard one is extremely incredible and i love i love it i just love what is that oh make a deal name a seal oh my god this is so cool so 500 meters to the right so we actually need to put this this is quite to the front here right so I'm gonna put this billboard oh my god this is just insane I'm gonna put this down here about Rudy um, let's put that oh no actually I think he yes he made that for over here right oh my god Dommel you're a G oh wait <laughs> uh, what's uh, okay it's not one building though um, let's put this down again I think animal has escaped you're kidding me right this has to be somewhere over here. oh my god I love I 
Love that. Let's put this down somewhat like so. That makes sense, so people can actually see that. Okay, so the penguin is expecting offspring. The escape might have been just a little bit of a broken thing again. So what we're going to do today, I thought about uh, tapirs would be a great thing. And we're going to make the tapir area just over here. I mean, I think this is a kind of a nice little spot. Oops, I wanted to dig down the terrain a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to build like a very nice little creek that is going all the way through here. You know, that's going to be that's going to be the little creek we are going to do. Um, I really hope it's going to look good. I have a certain idea what we can do, but this is going to be like the creek that goes through um, the entire Thousand America area I want to do. Um, I think we're not ready yet for a um, Jaguar, which I think we are going to do in the next episode because money, you know. And I think a tape here, like a little tape here temple in the middle here could be neat. And I'm just going to just build like a double-sided thing here. Is it raining again? Oh my god, I just stopped for a split second and I thought it was good, but it's not. So this is the this is the height we can go. Yeah, I think this is fine. I still want to let them go to this little island, um, but you know, I want to make this island a tiny bit bigger. Just making sure that this is somewhat more narrow here. Um, I, I, I gotta say that this uh, might also look a bit better if we keep that narrow and just a little bit more like this and also maybe uh, maybe you know they maybe they get a little bit too stressed in the front because i will make this like a fence over here and making sure that they can't get there because tapirs can swim so i have to do a lot with the elephant grass in the front which is my idea um that we have it growing here so they cannot escape because of the elephant grass at least this is my idea um and i gotta sip a little bit of my tea right now mm. beautiful oh lovely um, I gotta have like, you know, I've got a tea. Um, it's basically just water with mint in it and a little bit of ginger. Uh, I really like that. It's just a tiny bit of honey in, just like one little droplet uh, to make it a tiny bit sweet. Uh, but that's just about it. Um, so what I want to do with the tapirs here is really making a habitat this time, which is focusing on a little temple build and then just rather realistically zoo type of build. Um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to lower that down a little and we're just building this around the tapir enrichment items because most of the times I do it the other way around which I still like more but I think what makes sense is to just adjust the stuff already at the beginning before we start laying out the whole thing um, because that makes things a lot more easy. So I want to have this also a tiny bit higher. Does it adjust the... I thought it was adjusting the ground but anyways we can just... Oops, no that was way too big. Um, let's reduce the size just a little bit higher and then if I do put the thingy on it should yeah exactly I'm just gonna terraform it anyways but yeah um, this is going to be like the entrance to their backstage area I don't make it like too big you know the tapirs don't really need that much space so I'm willing to put that somewhat here so this is going to be the temple entrance and then that is like the jungly area we have in the in the front of it gosh the rain and the everything annoys me let me just speed this up it because that is really annoying me so it's getting it's getting cloudy soon okay rain is gone now let's go to the next day um we can delete that notification this is pretty much unnecessary right now we do have this why are the people not really happy education is really a little bit of a big issue um i might look into education also soon low welfare again very stressed right I mean, yeah, but why you just go in in the front? I'm just going to put down some more music here, making sure that maybe our dudes are enjoying this more with music. I'm just going to put this all down here. It's, uh, yeah, well, oh gosh. It would be nice if it just keeps having the same music as I copied it, you know? Always need to scroll down. Why not copy the music that I set in? It would be so much easier to just change it then. So, Marine Dream, there you go. Um, fine. Okay, so this is gone. Look, why is it so much better all of a sudden, even though education is still bad? Also, I don't really get why education is so bad, because I think we have basically researched everything we can. Um, let's go to vet research. Is there any... Oh, wait, we haven't. Oh my god, what am I even saying? We haven't researched the... Oh, 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 that is my bad then. Also, shall we just employ one more vet then? I guess that is a good idea, right, Steph? And where's the vet? There's the vet. And then uh, Raoul Giant Otter has joined the pack. How cool is that? All right. Um, we can also just um, make sure that our people are well trained again. 
really making sure that we don't spend too much money on uh, our staff and not employ too many, but just make sure that we do train them all to make sure everything runs accordingly and people are happy and have their drinks rather quickly. So now we can also put the second research on. Pretty neat. How about also our friends the... Okay, let me just quickly pause the game. The lighting is just perfect and I don't want to go too much into it. We are making solid money. Three and a half stars is also pretty neat. Uh, we got to get this a lot better. But what I want to do first is I want to go to animals. And yeah, this is what I thought already. We have a lot too many of these dudes over here. We keep Benjamin and wait, they're all maxed out in terms of their stats. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna with Emberly. Okay, Emberly is the one we have. And then we go also look at the scorpions. We are going to keep two younger ones maxed out golden. So we're gonna keep Amber. Oh no, we're gonna keep Amber and Pendle. Amber and Pendle are pretty much the ones I want to take. Oh my god, look at, ooh, look at them. Look at them. I'm going to keep Manya. She's very, very young. And I'm going to keep also Arush. And then we are just going to bring all the others back into the trading center and earn a shit ton of money. Yoohoo! Move them all to the trading center. Exhibit trading. Select them all. Quick trade 14k. Gosh, I would love to make money that easy in real life. Mm. Oh, lovely tea. Okay, so we've done that. And now let's have a little look again into this area. I've got some, some of them. You know what I want to do? I just want to make sure that they don't get any more babies because it takes ages until they are adults. So, oh, they're also infertile. Well, I should, whatever. Oh no, they're infertile because I've got them. Yeah, 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 never mind. That's my bad. Okay, two babies. That's awesome. We can sell them eventually. Um, they are doing also good. And the penguins also doing good. And the pygmy hippo also doing good. Lovely. Okay, we fixed that. Penguin is about to mate. I never wanted to do this, guys. But I really think we will have to make a connection here as well. Like, this is the entrance over here. And then we will also have to make, like, a connection in the backside here. Because I don't, I don't see another reason. Or I don't see another chance of getting rid of this traffic over here. It's just absolutely freaking crazy. I mean, I like the fact that it's pretty crowdy, but this is just way too crowdy. Also, why are they all standing over here? What 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 is so special about this? Is it just because of the scorpions and so on? They must be stressed like hell. But okay, never mind. Okay, so we've done that, and now let's go back to our little tape here. And I really hope that this will drag the people more into this direction. I think I will also make the connection already as soon as this is done. But now we have to, to focus on that, uh, because this is a really important bit. I will also make like a little skippy skip today. Um, I will end this in a couple of minutes um, for this recording, and then we're gonna skip a little bit ahead of time, uh, so you guys then know... Um, a bit more like, you know, Mike does it or has it done in the past and Mask does it so that we have a little bit of building done um, before I then continue with uh, some other stuff again. But yeah, it's just putting down the enrichment items already. I know that they quite love this uh, sprinkler thingy as well. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to raise this here because I'm going to put this on a stone. That will be looking good, I guess. Uh, we also have some heat and stuff we will need to you know, just work with. So I'm going to put the pipe here. Good stuff. Okay, what we're going to do now is pretty simple, just pretty straightforward putting down some temple pieces. I'm not willing to really spend too much time on it. I think I got... Um, I think I want to not go with the standard ones. I, oh, maybe I do. Maybe I do because I, I thought to go a bit more with the gray tone. Let's just have a little comparison how that goes. Um... Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the gray ones <laughs> so I can work in the other ones So I'm gonna just use these pieces over here as I said This is going to be the entrance to the backstage of them uh, For them and I'm gonna mix in these temple pieces. I'm just very much hating the fact that we don't have the broken staircases of uh... Yeah, I just want to have the, these temple pieces as well So I'm gonna do I do it that way or do I just use the bright ones? You know what? No, I'm just gonna not use these ones I'm just going to use the stuff that is broken and then we should do it with them. Why is it not the same color? Give me back my color. There you go. Because I, yeah, again, I'm, I like my pieces. I like my pieces to be the way they should be. Um, and this is the color I want to go for. So we are going to build this little temple down here, you know, just making sure we have a bit of a nice connection done. 
And then we can also do stuff like this, you know, have temple pieces aligned like that. And we're going to put some roots in between, you know, to make that look uh, kind of more like a fallen temple. And then the rest will be pretty much a very nice backstage building where we'll go off, uh, also give like a little view for the guest um, that they can have a peek inside of their uh, little house, you know. Nothing too fancy, you know, pretty much a zooish, uh, pretty much standard zooish. So this is, this is basically how I want to set this up over here and then we are going to have like all over fallen temple pieces do i still have my temple by the way my temple set uh there you go i do still have it how oh god this is so expensive uh yeah i'm still going to put this down never mind we have the money because this is just good it's just really good we can we can just borrow some stuff from my temple piece it's it's still looking very decent indeed and um I'm going to put this all down and I think we will get back the money if I delete all that stuff again. But I'm just a big fan of how that looked. So I'm, I'm just going to incorporate that here as a, yeah, as a weenie as Sylph would say, right? This is going to be like a little weenie thingy. Um, and then since they would not be, oh, wait, I'm going to have to put this even further into the ground. There you go. And I know that the animals cannot go in uh, most likely, but the tapius hitbox is quite okay. So I'm just going to give them a tiny bit more space. I'm just hoping that they will be able to go in there. And then uh, we're going to close off these sides though, because I just want to make sure they have a, a little sleeping opportunity in here, like something to hide away. And I'll make them go to both sides in and out. Um, I think that's nice. And now we can adjust the color of my temple pieces because now that doesn't fit because I didn't think about it in the first part, but uh, in the first place, but now I'm quite confident that this makes sense. You know, should be the same. Yeah, should be the same color. And this is somewhat, I think we go into this direction. Oh my God, this is already pretty close. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. This is, this is matching quite nicely. Um, so yeah, I, I thought a lot of things um, that I brought together. I think we don't really need this. Um, what I think would be nice is... I don't know if I want to do this or not. I'm going to use this one and then I'll use this on the island, I guess. Uh, let's split that from the group and also let's get rid of this one over here. I want to make this like somewhat sunken, you know, uh, like into the water as well. So somewhat like this. And then we still have to have the tapir be able to go in. So this is what I want to do. And then just like this and give it a bit of space. I really hope it's able to go in there. I would love to have it also come out here, just swim inside there. And we're going to put like some roots and stuff on top. So to make that look a bit better. I think this is fine. This is what we will need over here. And we can basically get rid of this thing again. Do we get the money back? Oh yeah, $3.99. That's nice. We still spend already quite a lot of money on that, but that's okay. That's totally okay. I'm, I'm very much fine with this. Um, okay, let's just quickly do the terraforming and then uh, I'll do some building. Oh my god, I should have lowered the intensity a little bit. So we can adjust this, uh, whatever, this way. And now the good bit about this one is I wanted to make this uh, so that I can really adjust that. See, this is exactly the height I wanted to go for. And just paint that around here carefully enough. So we make this thing in the middle nicely embedded, nice. And then we can smooth out the corners, just, you know, hit the thing. I want to make this like very neat. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make also, I have to make this out. So the ground of that one has to be like concrete or like plaster, I guess we can quickly do this um, and paint that in like a greenish tint. That should be fine. Yeah, I could be this height. It, it doesn't really matter which height it is. I just want to make sure that the ground is painted in these colors. So there you go. Yeah, we can just basically build it like this. I, it doesn't really matter. This is just I can change the color, adjust the height every, every time I need it. Um, this is just for me because that will make it look a bit more like in real zoo. And you would still have this ground to clean it up eventually as well. I'm not going to take care of the sides though. This can still be... You know, it, it might be dirt, it might be painted uh, asphalt or painted concrete, uh, but for, you know, for the illusion, it's enough, I guess, if we do the ground like this here. Great. So I'm going to put these things in all edges so that there is nothing lurking out as over here. Good stuff. Okay, good. Like, okay, how does it look if we put the water in? Just have a look um, over here. 
It's over floating a little bit. Nice. That looks good. That looks exactly like I wanted it. And then if, if we have plants and stuff in, that's going to look good. We can also adjust this and then kind of try to make it look a bit more like so. You know, that looks a little bit more Caribbean. Maybe we do it that way. That looks kind of neat as well. But yeah, so now I'm going to do a little break, guys. And then we'll back with a bit of an adjustment of this area and a bit more of the finished habitat. So see you then. Boom! There we go again, guys. Hope you weren't too shocked. I mean, actually, it was just a little cut for you. For me, it wasn't. For me, it was a little bit of a time in between. You can see we uh, actually moved quite a lot forward. Um, it's not that much, though. It looks more than it is. But uh, these elephant grass thingies are very much easy when it comes to... Um, yeah, doing that stuff. You can see um, this is where the backstage access is at the moment. I already put in all this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm just for the for the sake of making that real quick. I'm just going to uh, honestly. I just want to make sure that this is going to be not too much. Uh, we will need to. Ah, uh, too, too, too close. Okay, we'll need to make this somewhat working like this. Um, I think I will just leverage this little thing here and create a bit of a nicer, smoother transition between here. That should be fine. All right, so this way it is becoming one piece though, but it's okay. I mean, it's fine. We, we are going to um, make this this entrance look a little bit more hidden away later. We're not too too much worrying about this right now. You can see I took a few inspiration pieces here. Mm, I, I put the temple pieces down and made this look a lot better. You saw that still, this is all good. And now we got to get these uh, tapirs. Now I do already, I have already filtered to them. Look at this one, look at that one. 100%, 1.9 years old. I think that's a very good deal here. Oh, you're just going to look what we else we have. This one's also good, but longevity is not good at all, and it's already pretty old. So we're going to get this one. Actually, not pretty old, though, but we're going to get this one. Immunity should not to be uh, not be so worrying, though. Let's see if we do have anything else. Like this one over here looks... Oh, that one looks fine. Uh, we're going to go get these two. They are pretty cheap in terms of... Uh, conservation credits i mean we still have to look into that a little bit more but that should be fine um this is all we need these two ish it's kind of slow today i'm sorry for that uh i can't do much about it but okay so we're going to bring this one in if possible oh come on ah this is still so broken it really annoys me but i i really hope that this is going to be uh yeah, just uh, fixed in the future. I really hope that Frontier is still investigating into this. Sometimes it just works buttily smooth, when sometimes it doesn't. Um, so while we're waiting now for them to be brought, I'm going to put down this time, pretty early on, some stuff already here. And I'm going to put like an educator spot here. Um, I know this is going to be um, something where they still can't use the food and so on. But you know what, I don't care too much. I'm going to put also a ambient speaker down here. Another one uh, in there. And another one to the island, um, just to make sure that we have this in place. Then we will also put down uh, some bins and benches. Is it going to rain again? Are you freaking kidding me? This game is driving me insane, honestly. Um, good. They are bringing us the little dude over there. Nice stuff. I'm going to put enough of this stuff down. Um, I like the Australian canopy quite a lot, to be honest. I'm going to make this like somewhat more reddish, darkish, like this. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm going to put down these things just some somewhere around here on the viewing spots, just making sure that the guests are somewhat dry. I'm not sure if they will even take that. I also like the other canopy over here. The aquatic one looks pretty neat, insane, uh, insanely neat, insane, what? Uh, neat indeed, that's the word. <laughs> so we're going to put this down uh, to the back here where we're going to put down the benches, you know. Just something like that is fine, I guess. And the same over here as well. I just want to make sure that they keep dry. And the guests keep dry when they sit down. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the normal bench. Normal bench, yeah, please. Uh, no, no. No these. Okay. Um, we can actually have this zoo bench over here. No, no. I don't like this. I think, no, you know what? We're going to go with the new world bench. I think this is going to, you know, uh, look nicely. Uneven path. I... What? There's not an uneven path. Well, then I'm going to put them down here. If that works, it doesn't. Well, let's keep it to these two. Um, there are some guests coming. 
Rita, uh, uh, keeper cannot reach the habitat. Yeah, that makes sense because I don't have any here. Um, this is what we need to create the new hub, anyways. So you know what we do? We'll just uh, to just do this right now. So this is without power. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, never mind. What we're going to do right now? Uh, we're going to build the new hub real quick here in the middle. So um, by the way, if you guys want to contribute still to this project, this is what I definitely will need. I will need a whole bunch of uh, backstage. Uh, beautification okay backstage is the stuff I need the most like backstage 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 like simple shells for backstage areas um, easy stuff in terms of uh, you know um, hiding things away if you have some backstage elements very welcome indeed um, so these kind of things are very important uh, making sure that this is all not going to affect the pathway too much I think this is all we need over here uh, I'm gonna connect this right over there so I don't need to even bother about the pathing path because I hate the staff pathing path so yeah in case you have a solution for that <laughs> hit me up guys because uh, I hate the staff path as you guys know no what's that let me just connect this please there you go and then we're going to bring this around the corner and again, this will be this will be beautified, okay? This will be beautified, but I think for the moment, this is what we need to do. And then uh, we also need to employ rather quick a keeper. There you go. And this keeper is getting a new work zone, which is uh, whoops, is going to be created, and that is going to be let's call that Thaus America Hub. So we do exactly know where that is, and we can also name this habitat already into the birds tape here. Here we go. Awesome. Awesome stuff. There you go. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's have a look how our dudes are doing. Ooh, what was that? Oh my god, that's I nailed it pretty much. Just a tiny bit. Oh my I I just did not check double check it, guys, but uh, oh wait, we had too much long grass. Well, okay, well then. Just gonna make some short grass and then you should be fine. Oh, come on. Where do I have all the long grass that you are moaning about? Is that like... Okay, I think uh, I think most of the long grass is uh, in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I should have, should have seen that. So this is going to be where you have to sleepy sleep. Okay, so this is, this is gonna be the inside. It's raining right now, so yeah, mostly inside. I get this. I get this. So I'm gonna put down tape here. I'm gonna get a box to play with in here. Nice stuff. You get a food trough. Um, we do want to see you eat outside, right? So I'm gonna put this here. And then uh, you can snack some fruits inside. That That's gonna be lovely. And you definitely want to have a sleepy sleep inside. Do they also have the jetty platform? Because I just saw that the jetty platform is basically appearing everywhere all of a sudden. No, they don't seem to like that. Which is good because I think they wouldn't, wouldn't like it too much anyway. So we're gonna give you some good bedding here just sleepy sleep on the bedding there you go nice stuff and i think what else can we give you in here no you don't need drink you don't actually you don't need anything oh wait i'm gonna give you a, a rubber duck here just because i think this is cute i think it's cute having that here that's kind of nice see this is what we need to do so people are coming over already yes tiny bit so we gotta put down some education here and then we should be good we should be good. Uh, facilities, sorry, my bad. And then I'm going to put down these screens. One goes here, one goes here. I can just also put that in already. Birds tape here, birds tape here. And I think they're also going to go, let me just copy this bit over here too. Yeah, whatever, be part of this, I don't care. And then give me that one as well. Just gonna put this in the middle here. Look at that, awesome. And what we also need, of course, just to make sure that education is even even higher, I'm gonna put like an info board here. I've, I've still no clue what I'm gonna put on it, but that's fine. And we're gonna put the, uh, I hate that this appears all of a sudden. I just want to have this thing. And first of all, put this into the wall, okay? So that's the first thing we gotta do. And then this is Bird's Tape here. And let's let us talk about them. I hope they are not going to be too annoyed, the animals from the inside. Uh, but that should be fine. And then we are also going to plop the educational speaker. I think it's going to be kind of cool to squeeze that into the... <laughs> I think I like the fact having that in the, in the umbrella, you know. Oh my god. Okay, well, I should have done that earlier. So, bird's tape here. 
Um, let me just increase the range here a little so that we get all the people educated that are around. This is not very nice indeed here because why would we do this? Um, and this is going to be squeezed in here too. Even more stuff. And this is going to be um, no species assigned. Don't worry, we did this. Uh, water obstructs food throw. We don't care. Um, no, not assigned. Okay, well, I... I kind of need to, whoops, um, I think the easiest thing to do would be to basically, I think that's a good idea, let's just go in here and then we have the work zones and then we go to the, um, did, 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 where is it though, South American Hub, there you go, edit this work zone and we're going to bring this one in as well and now what we could do, how many educators do we actually have, do we have actually... I think we only animal has escaped what oh my god no you didn't right no how did you you cannot escape even oh i think this is just a tiny bit where the fence is ah yeah there you go um let me just quickly check that uh let me let me do this hey 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 stop well it doesn't matter i'm just gonna do it that way and then i'm going to put like another one in the middle are you kidding? Okay, let me see if I can make this. I can't squeeze it even more in, right? So that's the best solution, I guess. And then just to make sure that the baby is not going there, I'm just going to slap in a stone or whatever. There you go. <laughs> I don't care. It's just making sure that this doesn't work. Which uh, feeding station cannot be... It is still the same. State is ready. See? Gosh, Frontier, fix it, please. That's starting to be a little annoying. Um, anyways, okay, so we've done that. This is looking pretty neat indeed. And um, everything else is fixed. And I think the only thing we need to do is bring in an educator here to make sure that we can do this. Educator, how much do they earn, by the way? Are they expensive on the expensive side of things or not? Uh, oops, are you kidding me? Too often. Um, oh, they are quite expensive though. I'm just gonna give you some some less salary to be honest. Um, you, hey, hey, stop, 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 stop running away. No, 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 no. You're gonna get, you're gonna get the South American hub. You don't run away. You are just in this area, okay? Don't run away. And then we're going to have this one. Uh, we've got July. Let's put this then to November. I don't, no idea if that's even. Okay, let's say South America, South America, um, among the underbrush, that sounds good, let's do that, okay, so we've, we've done quite a lot today guys, this is, has been a very efficient and a very huge leap forward in uh, somewhat under 30 minutes I guess, right, um, no it's not true, actually th under 40 minutes, but whatever, you know my time schedule is normally messed up, um, but I think... They are doing pretty well in their habitat. Look, they can access everything. They cannot escape. They can enjoy. We can. They can't really go through these things. I gotta fix this and give them little space here. No, can I just? Thank you. I want them to be able to go inside. So, can I? Can I just delete this and this to give them more space and then push that over? Hopefully that works. Push that over. I'm not sure if this gives them enough space to be honest. But ooh, look at that beautiful shot what a beautiful shot i'm gonna put this thing leaning over a little and then just gonna bring that one down here let's have a look i i just want to know if this fixes it already because then i have kind of a knowledge if that's the same my god are you kidding me no i'm, I'm just not going to invest too much into this because honestly if they if they don't fit into that like this is way too huge i'm not gonna spend time thinking about that to be honest i i could just try this over here because that one is is kind of okay if we get rid of most of these pieces because that's okay maybe it's not high enough i don't know i could just try that a little quick but again i you know i don't want to spend too much time doing this stuff because that's just a hitbox that i cannot i cannot yeah it's i cannot witness that as a positive this is just ridiculous um okay anyways we've done that let me just see if if this changes anything Oh my god, still doesn't. Yeah, okay, whatever then. I just keep that as a little little nice stuff, you know. Oh, look at that. We have all these lampposts. That looks kind of cool, to be honest. Look at this. Anyways, guys, we call it a day here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, because I did enjoy it. And also, I hope you enjoyed the new news. If you want to talk about that or just see me playing Planet Zoo, tonight we're going to play Planet Zoo on Stream.
stream on Twitch, you can jump over, link is in the description. As always, I'm trying to start somewhere between 10 and 11 Central European time um, evening. Um, yeah, I hope to see you there. In case you haven't followed over there, give me a follow so you know when uh, I'm, I'm live. And then we can talk about the news and stuff. Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Hope you guys stay safe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.